Hello everyone. Um, today's makeup tutorial is a bit of a different request I've had and I thought it would be a perfect opportunity because as you can see I'm um, confined to my bed today because um, last night, I mean I'm very very ill, somebody um, must have spiked my um, Chardonnay with rosé or something. I was, so um, I'm not hungover, I'm obviously just um, ill. But anyway, this um, it brings to mind that somebody asked me if I could do a tutorial for them um, for a hospital look, um, and so I thought I would, this perfect opportunity, now I'm bedridden myself. So, um, this is a look that I'm very familiar with, having frequented A&E a lot of times last year, for um, quite a few actually beauty related um, accidents actually, I had a bobby pin stuck under my fingernail, and I wasn't sure if I could um, catch my flight to South Africa the next day with the pin still in, so I had to get that removed. Um, also, I jumped onto a plug whilst um, doing my exercises in the morning. Had that stuck in my foot, that was um, removed. And then I had to be tetanus and rabies injections because I didn't know where the plug had been. So anyway, as not um, you know, no stranger to hospital. So this is going to be a look that because it's a very hard balance to get. You want to look sexy. You never know who's in the next bed to you. You also don't want to look too healthy because those NHS nurses will absolutely ignore you and won't give you the morphine and, well, let's face it, girls, why else are we in hospital apart from a bit of extra free morphine? Let's start with my favourite product, which is the Stargazer um, foundation. And we're going to apply this onto the lips. The great thing about this product as well is that sometimes it goes a bit crusty which is great for a sort of sick, ugh, um, don't eat it either, because then, in fact, I'm probably going to end up in hospital where I vom halfway through this, you'll know why. i just spread it around a bit, maybe a bit more. So you want to keep a defined lip. So I'm just going to go like that. And blend it in a bit. And there you go. Perfect. So a bit, but, you know, keep the sort of the one expression. We're going to use a bit of the same white um, on our eyes as well. The great top tip is if you do them on the eyelashes, it adheres to the eyelash as well, the foundation, and gives you this sort of super sexy lash, but at the same time giving quite a sickly pallor. Do you see what I've got done there? Wow. So, hey, the next thing I'm going to do is, as I was saying, we want to look sort of ill, but I also want a sort of nice flushed look. So I'm going to use a lipstick on the apple of my cheek, which you can find if you watch my tutorials, you know, just smile and you'll find the apple of your cheek. There you go. Um, and we're going to leave that quite rough and ready, I think, like that. Sorry about the light in here. My bedroom hasn't got um, studio quality light. It might just blend a little bit. Just up, up, look, up. So that's great. Now, the next thing we're going to do is for... It's great, you know, they have horrible lighting in hospitals, so what's good to use is some glitter. Now normally I use my Hello Kitty glitter, but that's clear, and I think in the hospital it's nice to go for this blue glitter, because it's more sort of hospital-like. So I'm just going to spread some of this on my face. It gives a great sort of sickly pallor and sheen, but at the same time it's sort of that great sort of dichotomy that we're going for between health and sickness. You know, yes, I'm shining and radiant, but I'm also... Um, blue, which can, you know, in in health things is never a good thing, is it really? You know, if you get if you see bits of you turning blue, you know there's something wrong. I've done gone over my cheek. Now, this is a great product for in hair as well. If you've got a bit of hair on that chin, girl. Maybe you're in hospital getting some laser removal surgery. You know, well then you're in hospital quite a lot for laser removal, aren't you? Because you have to go about three or four times a week until all that tricky little hair is gone. Oh, I might have to go in for my back. Okay, so I don't know what's happening to the light here. It's sort of, oh, I'm going to sit up in my death. The other thing I love about a hospital is the food. I mean, I used to go via Marks and Spencers to hospital and then buy some delicious foodstuffs just so that I would have something to trade for the jelly when I was there visiting because there's nothing I love more than jelly. It really is God's food. Okay, you can see I'm getting out my paintbrush again, so you know what's coming. It's the brows. Now, um, the great in hospital, you know, as I was saying earlier, those NHS nurses, sometimes, let's face it, they're not the most well-trained people, and they can um, 
take the piss a little bit. So it's good to have an expression that's e easily recognisable as um, give me assistance now, I'm not pressing that fucking button one more time, I want my morphine, I want my, my drugs, I want the pills, I need my bedpan, I need one of those cardboard vomiting buckets in the shape of a kidney, you know what I mean? So it's great to have an eyebrow, so I'm just going to go out from the edge. So it really gives a sort of concerned, but come over look, you know? Just enhance that eyebrow. There we go. I think that's quite good. I might do some frown lines in just to, to add to my concern. Because, you know, although I do have had a lot of good times in hospital, you, you don't want to think you're taking the piss, do you? I mean, you're, you're there, you know, you've got serious ailments. I'm not just in hospital because I like the jelly, although that would be reason enough. Oh, oh, oh dear. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is, um, is just to finish off the look completely is I'm going to use a bit of um, brilliant blue paint. Now this is because, you know, I know it's wrong, but if they think you're royal, you'll get a good bed, you'll get, you know, get the TV with all the channels, you get free internet, so it's always good to be ready to bleed blue. So I'm just going to give myself, I mean, you can use this all over, really. I'm going to give myself a nice sort of bulging neck vein. So, I think I'll go around there. Just go, and I'll just go, ooh, I'm just a wobbly vein there. Oh, I'm really liking that, actually. I might bring it down onto my chest a little bit. To, where's my heart? My heart's over this side. So, well, sort of, you, you get the point. The vein is sort of heading from my heart down there. So I think that's done. This is the hospital bed look. I'm sorry I wasn't feeling well today. As I said, I don't know what could have happened to me last night. I mean, obviously, I had one drink, and uh, I think it must have been spiked. So this goes out to all of you who are going to be in hospital, especially Cordelia. I hope this look helps you get that sort of look that gets a lot of attention, but also sexy male nurse attention as well. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll, I think I'm going back to back to sleep. Not without jelly, of course. Bye.